you don't need to be able to run a 30 miler in boots at the start of training. Yo, so I'm back for another video for you. And as requested this week, I'm going to be going over what I done in preparation for joining the Marines, specifically what running I done. Um, I've had a lot of people asking me that question recently. As a Royal Marine, you are renowned for your running, specifically long distance endurance type stuff. Um, so a lot of people obviously get worried about that. So I'm just going to go over what I've done personally to ensure that I was in a good state for coming down for training. Now, I think over the years, the pre joining fitness tests have changed slightly. Um, so it may be slightly different nowadays, but the basics is going to be there and the foundation for what you actually need to achieve is going to be exactly the same. Back when I was joining, it was um, pre joining fitness tests at your local center or whatever, wherever it may be, which would have been on the treadmill at an incline for the run that you presumably be doing on the uh, PRMC, which isn't now a thing, I believe. It's now bolstered on to the front of training, etc. etc. So, what I've done, I broke it down. So, my first goal was to complete the pre joining fitness test, which was the treadmill run. Um, it was press ups and sit ups, pull ups, something like that. It was just mega, mega basic um, fitness test. But I knew that I had the press ups and the sit ups and that in the bag. I would still practice them, but more importantly, I was practicing the run because. You can hit the max amount of press up setups, whatever, and get good points for them. But then the running, obviously, the quicker of time you're doing, the more better stead you're going to be in. Um, and you can always improve on that. You can always be faster. What do I do to practice for it? Lots of running. It's as easy as that, honestly. I was just running at every opportunity that I could, as long as I was getting that adequate rest as well. But yeah, I was doing laps of parks, etc., etc. But more importantly, I was just practicing the test itself. So I was getting on the treadmill every other day and I was just doing that run and seeing if I could get quicker and quicker. I was just trying to beat the, the time that I'd got previously until I was getting better and better at it. And then from that, I was then looking ahead. Once I'd completed that, I was then looking ahead at the PRMC, which was essentially that run again, but on the road. So then I was stepping away from the treadmill, which I was so grateful for because I absolutely hated running on the treadmill. It was so mundane. Um, stepped onto onto road um, and I was just running, practicing again that PRMC run. So it was the mile and a half out and then the mile and a half best effort. I was just doing that over and over and over. So that was my main priority. So also on the PRMC, you had a bleep test you had to complete, the pull-ups, the press-ups, the sit-ups, which were all to the beep. I believe they're all going to be still to the beep now, but it's not the PRMC anymore. It's now the ROP because what I believe was happening, a lot of people were coming down for the PRMC, maybe completing the PRMC and then just going home and not actually coming back to start at initial training, um, which was costing the core a lot of money because they were paying for travel warrants to get down, etc. Um, so what you do now is you essentially do the PRMC, but bolstered onto the front of training. So you do... A ROP is called where you would have all of that included and then you go and spend like a night in the field and stuff. So it's a bit more um, all rounded. And then you go into initial training if you then pass that. Going back to what I was doing, um, everything is still to the beep, I believe. And you can actually find them beeps audio on YouTube, which is the best thing that you can do because you can do as many press ups as you like, you can do as many pull ups, sit ups, everything. But if they're not strict form, what their PTIs are looking for and they're not to the beep, it doesn't count for anything. So go on there and practice to the beep, and it'll be a lot harder if you haven't been practicing to the beep. But going back to the running, I was then practicing bleep test. That's what I was practicing a lot the bleep test and that run. The bleep test and that run was my main priority. I just kept doing them, running them over and over and over every time that I felt recovered enough. So every other, every couple of days, because when you're younger, you can recover much quicker. So every couple of days, I was literally doing either a bleep test or I was doing that run. Um, and then in between that, I was chucking in some longer runs. Don't necessarily have to because you're not going to come down to training and they're going to chuck you straight on a 30 miler on your first week with kit, with weight, and tell you to run the 30 miler. That's not how it works. You start training and they start you literally from that bottom section. You don't even run in boots to start with. You have the gym phase and then you start running in boots 
and then it just gets built up and built up over time. Yes, you need to be fit and have a good standard of fitness to start with, but you don't need to be able to run a 30 miler in boots at the start of training. So what do I suggest that you do if you have been asking me this question or if you if this is answering a question for you is look at what the up to date requirements are. So see what the pre joining fitness test requirements are, get them printed out or on your phone or whatever, wherever you can see it constantly. So you know the definite parameters and then start practicing and just start hammering home. See what the ROP is because the pre joining fitness test and then the ROP that can come pretty quickly afterwards. So be focused on what you have to complete first. Just take it test by test. So then pre joining fitness test, smash them, smash them, smash them until you, you're absolutely smashing them. So people are saying, oh, how can I, I improve my running? How can I improve my press ups? How can I improve my sit ups? It's as simple as just keep doing them. Just keep smashing them and try and beat your previous score. If Monday you get 20 press ups, Wednesday try and get 25 press ups, try and get 21 press ups, or at least get the same amount least get one more press up each time and then you will be excelling you joining training is going to give you that fitness they will make you fit i can guarantee you that in one way or another through correctional fitness two three or actual plan fitness you are going to be made fitter than you was when you walked in the doors from limston if you haven't seen it already i've put up a pull up um the form that you need to be able to smash for pull ups here which can help and also one for press ups which is here if you haven't already please subscribe share comment down below and until next time let's make some gains boom